Hello YouTubers. Well, last night I was woke up at 11.30 out of bed because I heard a horn going off. Boy, it was loud. So I jump up, not for sure what's going on. Don't know if someone's breaking into one of my vehicles. Uh, get dressed come outside yep the excursion it's wide open just unbelievably loud so luckily I was able to open the garage grab a 13 millimeter wrench come on out disconnect the negative cable horn stops go back inside go to bed so I wake up this morning and I do some research, of course online, a little bit of videos. Don't really find anything for an excursion. That's kind of why I'm doing this video. This isn't my normal videos, but since I couldn't find anything, I thought I'd try to help you guys out. Well, so when I came out this morning, um, I hooked up the negative, the horn was going wide open again disconnect the negative get inside the vehicle so once i'm inside the vehicle um i press on this a few times um it is i'm when i'm pushing it it's going down uh you remember i have the battery disconnected so no alarms nothing's going on so i go out there um excuse me i pull the fuse down here in the fuse box which is this one right here which i believe is number 37 takes a 15 amp fuse i pull it out i go back out to the front of the vehicle and i uh, hook up the negative cable horn's not on great fixed well i come back inside i give it a little press right there horn works press it again stuck on <clears throat> so of course I pull the fuse again and with the fuse out uh, it's not work it's off so I'm like now it's time to tear into this thing so what I end up doing is I come out to the front here and I pull off the positive side because I already have the, the negative I took it off and I pull the positive side off then I take this jumper and I plug the two together to kind of discharge whatever uh, battery power is saved up in here and discharged uh, the battery and the computer so the airbag won't go off I don't know if that's the way to do it but that's how I uh, figured out would be a good idea to at least start with so then now I come back over here to the side and I need to remove my airbag. So there's in the back side here, there's some plugs, one here, one on the other side, pop those plugs out. With those plugs out, you gain access to two eight millimeter bolts. Take those bolts out then you're able to pull the front off it kind of leans back a little bit i've already done this and got it off but you know since i was halfway into it i decided i'd go get my camera and show you guys what's going on so i pull it off and there's two connections here got this one up top which it goes up here which the i'll show you in a minute what it goes to that's your horn so the one down here comes around the bottom and that goes to your airbag. So once you have this off, you get a T25 Torx. And you take out these two bolts. So once those bolts are out, you kind of just pull this back, lean it open. So you pull 
this back and what's inside there is this and what this is is just some co a copper pad when they press together makes a contact completes the circuit makes your horn go off well I don't know if you can see let's try to get this see all those dimples in there what those dimples are from are inside of here there's just a bunch of little tabs some of them even have bent over I guess because I push on the horn so damn hard when people are in my way but what I did was I went inside and I kind of put the hair dryer on low heat low blow and ended up that some of them came out so what I think I'm gonna end up doing here and I got online and looked for an excursion I cannot find one of these anywhere that says it's for an excursion but these are basically an f-250 I got on look for f-250 they're all over the place around a hundred dollars so we're gonna hook this thing back up get the fuse back in hook the batteries back up and see if this fixed our problem at least temporary for now I know I can drive the vehicle without the fuse for the horn I just won't have a horn um, that's what I'll do if it doesn't work I'll keep you guys posted but right now let's put her back together okay to put this back in this goes down inside here clips in there comes up clips in here it's not really a clip but it just goes in there line up our holes for our t25s there we go two bolts Be a little overkill with this half inch t25 but when i walked in the garage there it was so instead of digging 10 minutes it was just as easy to grab this and be right back out and i will tell you they weren't tight Let them down. That's pretty good. This is your horn. Clips on right there. Okay. So let's do the airbag. This is kind of the procedure I did when I took it apart. snap little metal tab here goes over to hold it on thank goodness it didn't go off that's why I got the battery disconnected and discharged the computer snap the horn on boom okay so now we are really close to being back together here This is going to be a little bit of the tricky part. Getting the bolts started up underneath here without having them fall inside. 
Well, keep my fingers crossed for the end. Must be the camera giving me good luck because I never thought that would happen. Snug, you don't have to kill it, it's only an eight millimeter bolt. There she is. Steering wheels back together. We're gonna head outside. So let's get this positive snug down. This is another one of those deals where you don't have to kill it. I mean, you just need to get it tight where it doesn't move. I mean, look, I'm using the eight millimeter wrench. I don't have to get a breaker bar on it. One finger. Look at that. Good to go. Negative. No sparks. 13 millimeter. Even though a bigger wrench, we're not killing it. All right, so let's go around front. We should have power and see what's up. Well, so far that stuff looks good. Let's fire it up, see what happens. I'm gonna keep the fuse inside the tool to pull it because it's gonna make it a lot easier, the horn goes off, to pull it back out. Here we go. Let's leave her in there. Bingo. So I'll let that go for a while, guys. I'll get back with you. And let me know in the comments if you know anything that would have been better to do. Remember, like, subscribe, and enjoy.